In this video, we look at an overview of differential calculus. And this is the first video in a four part video series on this subtopic. Now we are currently in topic five calculus in the AI course. And in topic five, there are two main subtopics, two main areas. The first area is, is this subtopic, differential calculus. And then we also have integral calculus as well. Now, before we get into all the details of how to differentiate, so for example, going from an, uh, from an initial equation, then differentiating to find the derivative, before we get into that detail, before we start finding equations of, great, uh, of tangents and normals, before we start finding turning points and then understanding what they mean in the context of optimization, I think it's important to start by actually sort of visually understanding what are we doing here when we differentiate? What are we doing here when we differentiate an equation and we substitute in an x value? So that's, I think, where it, I think it's a good place to start here in this subtopic of differential calculus. That way in future, when you get an equation and you find the derivative, you actually know what it kind of means in the context of the question. Okay, so let's start by looking at this curve here. This is the curve of this equation here. This is a quadratic, negative x squared plus 4x plus 2. It's a quadratic, it has a turning point here, and then, and then it goes back down. And I want to narrow in on this particular coordinate here. And we can just read off the graph here that it has a x value of 1. So this point here has an x value of 1, and it has a corresponding y value of 5. So this has a y value of 5. So this coordinate here is 1, 5. And also, just to be clear, what this means is if I was to substitute in x equals 1 into this equation, the left-hand side would equal 5. So the corresponding y value at an x value of 1 is equal to 5. Now, at this point, what if I was to ask you the question, what is the slope of this curve at this point? And this is what differential calculus is all about. And you say, okay, well, it looks like it's sloping upwards. But how do I actually find out what that slope is? And if I was to visualize the slope, the way that we visualize the slope at this point is to actually draw a straight line that runs parallel to the curve at that point. A straight line that looks something like this. Now there's actually a proper word for this line and this word here is a tangent. So let's write that in. So this purple line here is actually the tangent to the curve at x equals one. And this actually gives us the slope of the curve at this point. And we would find that by actually finding the gradient of the tangent. Now recall that straight lines have the equation y equals mx plus c. So this m value gives us the gradient of this purple line, which happens to be the slope of the curve at x equals one. Now that is what differential calculus is all about. Differential calculus is, is all about finding the slope of a curve at any point. And we, all, and we also call the slope the gradient, and that comes into the topic of rate of change, which is, in other words, how much is this curve changing at x equals 1? So let's go ahead now and actually find the gradient of this tangent. And I already have the derivative here. The next video is all about, well, how do I get this derivative? We call that derivative y dash, or if we're using function notations, it'll actually be f dash of x rather than just f of x. So let's just write this down here. If I have the derivative y dash is equal to negative 2x plus 4, then at x is equal to 1, this particular coordinate here that we're interested in, y dash will equal negative 2 multiplied by 1 plus 4. So I'm just substituting in x is equal to 1. That is negative 2 plus 4, and that is equal to 2. So what that means is this purple line here has a gradient of 2. And that that looks correct. It has a positive gradient. It is sloping, it is, it is going upwards, sloping from low left to high right. And this relies on some strong understanding of, of linear lines, straight lines, y equals mx plus c, and whether we have positive gradients or negative gradients. So this particular line here has a m value, a gradient of two. So that is what differential calculus is all about. At any particular point on the curve, we can use the derivative to find the slope of the curve which I think a, probably a, a, a better way to think about it is what is the gradient of the tangent if I was to draw a tangent at that point. So I'll just do another example. Let's look at the turning point here. These are, these are always interesting cases and I do have a dedicated video on turning points. The slope of the curve 
it's actually gonna be a horizontal line here. My tangent is gonna be horizontal. And recall that when we have horizontal lines, the gradient is actually zero. And let's just test that. This turning point occurs at x is equal to two. So if I was to substitute in uh, x is equal to two into my y dash, that will be negative two times two plus four, and that is equal to negative four plus four, and that is equal to zero. So there we have it there at this turning point, we have a slope of zero, we have a gradient of the tangent of zero, and that's actually quite useful later on when we start to try to identify turning points and, le and that leads into optimization. Okay, so there's a quick introduction of what we're actually doing when we're performing differential calculus. The next video is about how do we actually differentiate. So how do we go from the initial equation to find its derivative?